Welcome to another episode of the Snowbike How-To Series. Brought to you by Cody Matichuk. I don't know. Drop a comment. Let me know what you want this called because I need help making a title. Today, we're going to do one of my favorite things. Downhill pal carves. From the Pemberton Ice Caps to Techy Steep and Deep in Revelstoke, British Columbia. All over the place. Pow turns are what these things are made for. So we're talking about technique, throttle control, and uh, just having fun in the deep pal. Let's jump right into it. Facts, details. I'm gonna show you guys how to have fun. so while we're going downhill there's three common ways to run your inside leg so if I'm taking a left turn I'm talking about my left leg step one or position one if you will the old school moto way step two or position two standing or sitting with your foot on your foot peg and position three my favorite is the, the dangle. It's hard to do when you're not turning, but it's somewhere like that. And you're, the, the inside leg kind of just drags on the snow. The reason position three is my favorite is because I believe it's the safest plus the easiest to do when you're riding. It offers great balance and safety. And I'm gonna get into why right now. So position one, old school moto way. Why do we do this? Well, on the dirt bikes, what it does is put more weight over your front end and kind of puts that weight low down, helps load the front end, helps the bike turn in. It's really for turning ability um, to, to improve your turn in and improve those uh, the handling of your motorcycle. On a snow bike, we don't need that, especially if you have a full setup front suspension. These things are stiff. Putting your leg out there is really not going to do that much. And the center of balance on this because they're so long is actually further back compared to a dirt bike where a dirt bike you can be up on the tank so it's a little bit different geometry the number one reason why I hate it though hates a strong word the number one reason why I dislike position one is because of safety lots of times I'm sure you've all been there and if you haven't you will uncover a stump that's covered in the snow tree rock something and if this is out there it's just it's just waiting to get broken twisted pinched into the bike and it's just very dangerous um, once you got start turning really hard too, like full bar drags it's honestly really hard to hold your leg out there you're not going to be able to just bar drag and have that leg out there in when we're in waist deep snow so position one not a favorite Going to position two, feet on the bike. We're doing a left turn again. It's like NASCAR out here. <laughs> so foot on the foot peg while you're turning. Why is this bad? Very similar reasons to position one when you have your leg out. If you uncover something, you are in a pinch point. So just having your toe over that foot peg where it could get wrapped underneath or even on here, it's just very inefficient way to turn. It doesn't help your turn at all and it puts your leg in a pinch point. Position three, what do we call this? The dog pisser maybe? Something like that. The fire hydrant, I don't know. Drop that in the comment if you got a name for this move right here. Position three, my favorite, gets the leg out of the way. Sure, it's still dragging in the snow, but you cannot make it not drag in the snow. But if something hits it, it's gonna only hit the, uh, the stump, the rock, whatever that thing is. It's not gonna hit it and get pinched between your foot bag or pinched into your fork tubes. It's just gonna hit it. It's gonna hurt, but it's gonna hurt less. So based on safety, and for some reason, it just feels so good when you're doing downhill cars to sit down and drag that inner leg. And then when you switch to the other side, you drag that leg. And when you switch to that side, you drag that leg. And it just seems to flow and work and these snow bikes really respond to the dog pisser. Does it still look good? Yeah. I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of snow. It's a little too much snow maybe, but whatever. This is good for you folks at home. This is what we're doing for you. Bringing the how-to to YouTube. 
Downhill descents. We talked about body position. We talked about dogs pissing. Just kidding. Let's talk about throttle while you're turning. So on these downhill descents, rear brake out the window. If you're using downhill or using your brakes going down these downhill descents, you're already doing it wrong. There is a time and a place for that. And I'm not saying every time you go down a hill, you should never use your brake. But doing these downhill cars, there's no place for your rear brake. What you're gonna do is get sit, settled into the turn, throw that leg out into the old dog pisser, position three, and you're gonna power through your turn. You roll on through your turn. And this takes the load from the front end, puts it on the back end, and it helps the front end kind of climb through the turn. If not, what happens is you lean the bike over and you kind of just start pushing through the turn. And it's just waiting for you to pick up the throttle. So you're gonna lean in, get the body position right, get that lean in, and right as you're going to lean in, you crack that throttle, and it picks the bike up through the corner where you switch to the other side. Same thing, switch, hope you like my dirt bike sounds. So this is a very important step to help that bike finish the turn. So we've talked about body position, we've talked about throttles. This is for the high speed, high fun factor carving turns. Hopefully this helps you guys. Montage. some of that uh, tech tip how to um, how I tackle big mountain terrain the big fun downhill descents what these things are made for let me know in the comments if this helped you helped your riding let me know what you want to see next and uh, I'll try my best to tackle some more how to's for you guys make sure to like subscribe help me uh, support me so I know that this is things working that you guys are liking this stuff and uh, we'll keep them coming for you this is Cody Matichuk, How-To Series.
I'm out.